622 at KSR. Well, remember when Hillary hit the reset button, a kind of a fakey, stagey move that she did on television with Vladimir Putin, declaring a new beginning, a new relationship with the communist nation? She also promised to create a Russian Silicon Valley that may have opened the door to the Russian spies believed to be responsible by uh, some for hacking her email. Ironic, right? Joining us on the KSR Live line is America Rising PAC Communications Director Jeff Bechdel. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, my man. Uh, you know, every day there's something new about the emails, you know, and I have some people are saying it's the Russians who did it. Some people say that it may have been an inside job and the guy who was going to to talk about it went to the FBI, but was gunned down in the streets. What do you who do you think is more credible as a an actor in this email scandal? Well, I'll tell you, what's clear is she has spent about 18 months at this point trying to explain her email scandal. And as evidenced by her conversation with Chris Wallace just a few weeks ago, she has been completely unable to do so. So, you know, in terms of credibility, I think Director Comey said it best. Um, What she has, has said to the public, he can't comment on. And essentially what he was able to identify was that she was extremely careless in her handling of of classified material, and now we're seeing the consequences of it. Okay, so let's talk about this Russian Silicon Valley. I know that's really where your area of expertise is. What do you think happened there? So essentially what happened was, you're right, it happened in the middle of the Russian reset. They were trying to improve relations with Russia. This is, you know, Obama's uh, goal. And so Secretary Clinton uh, set up meetings with U.S. businesses to go over to Russia to invest in what was to become uh, a Russian Silicon Valley, basically a tech innovation center. And uh, she was successful in doing so. Uh, you know, big name companies like Cisco, Boeing, Google, GE, they all invested in um, this tech center. And ultimately, what we learned is a few years later, the FBI issued a warning saying, hey, uh, the Russians are using this technology and weaponizing it to improve their military, thus putting Americans uh, at risk and, and threatening national security. So it's just another example of Secretary Clinton's poor judgment and uh, you know, her inability to discern a uh, friend from foe. Jeff, what supposedly went south then if uh, you're going to essentially establish business ties with these companies and you, you hope that with business comes stability in terms of your relations with, with, a, with a, let's face it, a country that you don't have very good relations with, with Russia. But what do you suppose went south? Well, that's the risk. Exactly what you said is, is, you know, they were trying to improve relations with a country that really had no interest in in doing so. Um, I think, you know, she invited, and she brags about this in her book, Hard Choices, that she was able to get then-President Dmitry Medvedev to come over to Silicon Valley and and learn about how uh, American tech innovation happens. And he took that back, and his goal all along, I'm sure, was to increase, uh, you know, Russia's uh, weaponized tech sector. And so, you know, it's a combination of that. We learned that some of the money that was used uh, was, uh, there was a corruption case involved with uh, this Russian Silicon Valley. And so, you know, not only were uh, were these U.S. companies basically used to, to get their money to help weaponize Russia, but uh, some of the money was misused even by the Russian standards. You seem to see a pattern with Mrs. Clinton's foreign policy. She, uh, you know, she tries to entice them with with trade and with all the goodies. And when she was Secretary of State, and when that doesn't work, she bombs the crap out of them, like with Syria and Libya. Yeah, no, that you're absolutely right, and she has a long record, and we talk about this a lot at AmericaRisingPact.org, that, um, you know, basically every foreign policy decision that came across her desk as secretary, uh, she failed. Her, her judgment was lacking, and as a result, American interests and safety was put at risk, whether it's Libya, Syria, she called uh, or referred to... Um, the, the president there as a reformer, and, uh, you know, he's obviously anything but. Um, the reset with Russia, the list goes on and on, and uh, it's, it's quite troubling for someone who could end up becoming president. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We do appreciate your time. 
Thank you for having me. Jeff Bechtel, he is the Communications Director for America Rising PAC at 626 at KSRO. <laughs>